All right, good afternoon. Got a bit of an update here for you, Tuesday, September 29th. The Trinity County Sheriff's Office has issued an evacuation warning for the area here north of 36, where the South Fork Trinity runs north up here. So looking for the Bear Wallow area, and Friend Mountain area is now under an evacuation warning. Rowdy Bear, I'm talking to you guys in there. So this is a warning, and that means you need to get ready to go. And if there's people that need a little extra time to go, children that need to go, if you've got large animals, small animals, something that's going to need arrangements and a little more time to make it happen, I would seriously be thinking about getting out of there now. And looking at the road system and such that's through the forest up here, there's not like you're going to be able to jump on a highway and go. It's going to take some time to get out of there. So I'd have a plan and I'd know what I was doing because when an evacuation order comes, it's time to go. And please, you know, we're seeing what's happening in Ruth and what's gone on with folks that have not left. And that's becoming a real problem, and, and it has been a problem, and it's going to continue to be a problem. There's a reason that it's an evacuation order. It's, it's, it's for your safety and for the safety of the firefighters. So the fire's been active here on the north side of, of 36, um, on still staying on the north side of South Fork Trinity. But... There's a lot of good fuel up here and it's backing into the wind. Our winds are starting to come around towards the north, northwest, like the uh, weatherman Tabor, Brooke Tabor was telling us. So we're getting that, but very dry and terrain driven, it's, it's backing into the wind. It's wanting to work its way north. So working with the county sheriff, um, we've designated this as a, as a warning area. I'm going to have information tomorrow, information officers tomorrow headed into Hay Fork, and I'm going to have them go ahead and come out, come on out here to High Palm tomorrow too, so we can start getting some fire awareness and such going up here, because you guys have seen fire before and, and you know how it's going to move through this country, so we'll start giving you some maps up there and, and post them some information and. Mainly what I'm going to be looking for is people that we can add to our distribution list because during the pandemic period, we're really wanting to limit uh, information officers' public engagement out on the trap line to keep our firefighters safe and to keep the, the public safe. So we might designate a spot or two where we can put an information board, but mainly I'm going to have them out there looking for emails and such to where we can email you the information and you can choose to print it out and share with your families and friends. If you're a business that is interested in printing out and displaying information, you can contact me through the email for the incident, 2020.elkhorn at firenet.gov. So We'll repeat that in, uh, in the comments below or, or in the paragraph introducing this, but just want to let you know that we want to make sure you're getting the information up there um, as, as we're producing it. If you're seeing this, this is one of our really good avenues for getting information out. Um, still busy in here around the area of Ruth. Firefighters are doing the best work they can in there. The wind's coming around and, and things are looking good, but we just need to be prepared. So tonight at 7.30, come back here and we'll have um, our incident commander, um, Karen, our operations chief. I think it'll be Karen if she's free this evening. Um, our IMET will be here, our FBAN, Chris and Brooke Tabor. Um, I think Ed Priestley's gonna have uh, information for us from the uh, Trinity County Office of Emergency Services. So please come back and join us at 7.30 this evening for our virtual community meeting. It'll be available on the Shasta Trinity National Forest Facebook page, along with the Six Rivers and Mendocino National Forest Facebook pages. Same type of format. We'll take your questions in, fire related, related to my subject matter experts that'll be here. My information officers will be collecting those questions and Kale will be feeding them to our presenters. 
So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, new warning, if you gotta take time to be getting out of there, I would be starting to think about it now, better safe than sorry, please, better safe than sorry. We've all seen the news, we all know what's happened over here at the Zog fire, and that same afternoon, it was the same time that I was saying I didn't want to have to break news like that concerning the August complex fire. So please pay attention to the sheriff's orders and warnings. There's, there's a reason that we're doing this. So come back this evening and we'll see you at the uh, virtual community meeting. Thank you very much.